Hello there and welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. Now, in today's episode, I started putting... Yeah, it's... First of all, it's a bit of a mess, I know. So, we've gone into the photo mode just so I can get better angles and to show you real quick as well what's been happening. So, initially our wall finished about here, this, this side at least. And I thought like, well, I do remember we talked about having a few towers, so I tried putting one in. But then I realized... Over here, if the tower sort of finished right here, we only have one pillar. But here I started putting in another tower and then I realized, wait, that's not even. There's there's two pillars here, but only one here. And it bothered me so much that I've already started moving the wall forward. Yeah, so let's close that. Uh, it's a bit of a pain, I must admit. But I cannot continue until this wall is even on both sides but uh yeah what i've also done i've gone through the whole winter pretty much we're we've got one more day of winter and i've uh, as you might have noticed i've removed the inner layers they are now gone and uh yeah i thought this is great let's start the next episode let's start some sort of a build but that's when i realized it's not even so uh, yeah, we've queued up quite a quite a few jumps here. I think this will be the first tower that should be completed, I believe at least. What we'll do is we'll add another wall just about there, and actually one, uh, maybe one above here as well. Yeah, let's do that for the time being. Ah, uh, no, those. Stairs are not lined up, so let's move those or re remove those floors. Now the stairs are gonna go just above this one, but we're not gonna place it until... I think they'll uh, hopefully finish this in here. But uh, once they do, yeah, this is kind of what the towers will look like. Okay. Yeah, that, uh, that should be good. Resource-wise, do we... Oh yeah, we are able to keep up with the demand for all these different different resources and hopefully if they've been putting in some flooring here as well i think they have yes they have so then we can access the rest of the the wall now with the main entrance i guess we're gonna go with the same design as we have it here but another thing we might do is i'm not really sure if we want to put a roof above it we might do but i guess we'll see now for these bits in here what will what I'm thinking at least is raising them up and then putting the the roof above so that way they can all stay sheltered at least on the inner wall. So remember this is going to be the inner wall of our castle. Then we're also going to have an outer one that runs maybe about this distance from here and it's going to be slightly I think one or two levels lower than this one and it's just going to surround our kingdom. Yeah, Sanchit, oh no, he's unconscious. I guess it's too cold. We've got the cold snap right now, so the temperatures are pretty rough. They all are wearing winter clothes. Uh, Ku is this down as well? Oh well. He's gonna wake up soon. Someone's gonna rescue him. Okay, finally the cold snap is over. And uh, yeah, let's have a look. How much did they get done? Oh, they cannot do the top yet. But I'm just waiting for you guys to actually finish the bottom. Is this the normal door? Yeah, I guess we could put the normal normal doors in here. Oh, this is pretty naked as well. Okay, couple more walls and doors. There we go. Now let's check this layer. How, we, how have you not done this bit here? Okay, what I'm going to do is... I've managed to show you the... Let's go to the screenshot mode real quick. We've managed to see what the plan is. I'm going to carry on... Doing, uh, doing all that, and as soon as we got a bit of bit more progress in here, we'll jump back in. So things are starting to come together quite nicely, actually. We've got one of those towers done. With uh, we have also removed part of this inner wall here. So now this is what it's going to sort of look like from the uh, from the inside, and we've also put some roofing over over the walkway or the walls i mean it would be interesting to hear what are your thoughts as well about having this covered up i mean in some ways it's kind of kind of nice that our nobles or warriors in this kingdom 
will have a bit of shelter from the elements of the environment when being ambushed by raiders so it could be something that works pretty well for us so I think I personally think for inner, wall, inner walls this is can look quite cool actually especially with the towers as well and uh, for the outer walls that are gonna be a little bit further away we won't put the roofing on if we keep it for these ones then for the outer ones we'll leave it open gives a I guess sort of the typical castle look that you see in the movies as well so that's at least uh, what my thoughts on this are so what we are doing now we'll just continue extending this to the other side and we'll try and have this tower completed as well and then what I'll do on off camera I guess in the next episode after I hear what you think about the roofs over here I'll probably finish the rest of the uh, the rest of the side as well but fortunately right now we're on spring day six and I'm very surprised we have not had a raid for about two seasons now which is very very unlikely especially in the last episode when we had so many well when I say so many I mean two raids and it did feel like a lot okay so now that we have this little bit in here what I'm also gonna do well for this one we already have we sh oh well well you look at that talking about raids and here we got one okay let's get ready let's have a look I really dislike when they come at night as well it's uh, when all our villagers are a little tired about to go to sleep and that's when they show up but hey I guess it makes sense right okay so having a look at these raiders I don't think we have to worry too much because I can't see anyone with a bow and which direction oh they're right behind us so they might actually come this way huh interesting let's hide the trees so it's a little bit easier to see what's happening in here although it makes a huge difference when the trees are here so much nicer isn't it okay where are you guys going no they are going from that side again of course the pyres that should be an easy attack all we gotta do now is have our I'm really sorry but all of you guys I know you're taking a well-deserved break but today it was a it was a short one okay now they are going that way with the melee now I'm sure everyone wants a bit of action so let's get Greg, Tim, R, Sanchez, Big C and we'll bring you I'm not really sure where yet somewhere there why are you just standing around uh can you please get up there Coist, just over there and potato Drake who else is here Florence Polly and who's the slow one good looking gamer I guess you uh, your dinner was a little bit too too massive okay Florence you get there Polly potato I don't think you have to go any further Drake if you stop there as well and I suppose just uh, yeah shoot whoever you want who is this already taken Aldwin down and um, we got a couple of heavily injured people here is that the okay here comes the slowpoke you know what if you can take this he's running really fast just get one no okay never mind with you lot we are gonna go out there and anyone that gets through we're gonna take them down okay at least the good looking gamer has repositioned himself a uh, quick save there he goes do you know what wouldn't be a bad idea oh well you look at you guys you've already broken through the walls okay no I'd like you to shoot him potato same with you now our army that's outside here you shall hopefully take care of these guys and we'll have a few of you Matilda why are you standing around just get in there okay here we go wow that's some pretty quick work everyone just have Scott over there and someone's stuck inside here as well okay let's just uh, take care of the last oh no never mind we got Vincent here Vincent's feeling pretty brave but 
he is no match to our army there and that's the last of them so everyone where's the good looking gamer just up there everyone can now take a well-deserved break we'll speed up the time as well and uh, i think we'll mark everything to be picked up now there's some um, corpses to be dealt with oh, we have an extra one here and we'll set you forever there's only four right now because we had to delete a few they were in the way when we were building those walls. And, oh, okay. This other wall was kind of confusing us a little bit. Right, all we gotta do is replace this door here for the gate. And then we're good. Now, when it comes to their equipment, I know we really want to upgrade a few things in there. And also give them two-handed spears. So, as it's been mentioned in the comments on a couple of videos, I think, already, if we put the spear people behind these graded doors, then they can actually attack through them, which is pretty cool. And, um, I mean, it's, I suppose it does make sense. Uh, right, so we are carrying on with these walls. What I've also noticed, we are actually missing a little bit just these corners to make them perfect. And one more over there. Okay, much better. Now, the next thing, once they finish all this, we'll take down the inner wall, finish the tower, and we have to redo also the walkways around the perimeter. Uh, they're going to be in the way again. Uh, that's Well, that's just great. We'll pull this up over there, and I suppose something like this will do, at least for the time being. Actually, doesn't look like it's enough, so let's put another one there. Okay, we are now doing a little bit of housekeeping as well. Got a few buyers going, five of them to be exact. Uh, now, what's also going to be interesting is what are we going to do in the middle here? Could do another dowry looking thing, I suppose. Uh, yeah, that might make sense. And then afterwards, what? what's a little bit awkward here right now? Let's uh, try and put another road here so they have access actually never mind they have access from here but once we remove this then they won't what's a little bit awkward over here is that's gonna be a very long haul into our colony and we can't just we kind of can move it closer but the issue is the stairs that are going down are here uh but if we look down one level actually we could move those stairs in about there and that could work for us pretty well yeah i think that's something we might want to do because that's taking up quite a little space i mean where the walls are right now i'd like the doors into our colony to be roughly about the same distance somewhere here not all the way in the middle of uh, of the square here what would also be really cool if they added some more decorations into the game Right now there's only flags, graves, uh, not really anything else. Would be really cool if we could build like some sort of a fountain in the middle here. And that way um, and maybe a few benches as well. I guess benches, we could use the stools. Yeah, there isn't, there's chairs, stools. These ones could work as benches outside. But then I have a feeling if they are going for meals, they might, might start using those stools outside instead of uh, dining in our great hall talking about great hall actually before i started this episode i also did tidy up a little bit here so all the natural tiles are now gone and i was slowly replacing also or putting in place those wall, uh, floors right and now it's almost uh, done there's just little bits here and there that we still have uh, yet to yet to complete and well also of course the we do have a few missing walls around the place as well, but we are slowly getting there. And here's Francesco. I'm not sure why it's not displaying the name right now, but I'll I'll look into this. Wow, okay, so that roof was done pretty pretty quickly over there. Now all we gotta do if we could put the same design for the what's missing over here. Oh, uh, I guess that's what's missing 
and then we could do the same same uh, tower as we have it on the other side we could please copy there we go i think it was something like that and then we also need a bit of flooring did we get get it all yes we did so that's great oh never mind i think that's where the stairs were gonna be as well uh wait a second no the entrance yep getting a little bit confused over there the entrance is actually on this side okay fantastic we've figured this out and now what we can also do is we'll cover this bit up and also this side and in the middle here that's where the another set of stairs is gonna be okay what's uh, missing over here maybe a couple of supports just over there and now we can put in the last bit of roofing as well so let's take another look now that it's daytime and that's actually let's put the trees back as well so it looks a little bit nicer okay well that's not looking too bad at all yeah and the middle bit here i think it yeah we could leave it open or just drag it over to this side uh, so let me try and explain this again. We could put a few supports on the pillars here going across. And then we could extend the roof all the way uh, to the other side. So this makes it feel like there's a bit of a balcony over here, I suppose. And same on the on the inside, maybe, depending on what the design is going to be like. Yeah, actually, this could work. So what I'll do is, the other option was still to build like a bit of a tower like we have over here. But for the time being, just so you can see what I was talking about as well. For the time being, let's put in... Uh, hello? Can we... Yes, we can. Uh, we could put this roof just over there. So let me know what you think about this. First of all, of course, if we're going to keep those roofs in place at all. And then secondly, whether we want to keep this roof in here or put a tower instead i mean I, in a way this kind of looks cool how it has a bit of a balcony here yeah okay let's see what you think about it as well and then we'll make those upgrades or updates as requested or suggested right a few more merlons just on these sides we are almost there so with this space in here as well wow there is just so much more space now couple of build ideas that we have are obviously we definitely need a church and uh, if we think about this space i'm not sure if you can see it really well well after the autosave of course now if you can see this really really well but essentially the way i will think about this is that we have two blocks this is the block number one where we can have uh, some sort of a build uh, block number two block number three and then block number four so in those blocks what i'd like to put in is or what i'm considering at least is a church we could have it on one of those blocks we also would like to build another blacksmith i'll show you this one actually wasn't the blacksmith i figured this out off camera later yeah a little bit embarrassing but we're okay so yeah church was block number one block number or the second block mm, let me try this again church doesn't have to go in here when i say block one that doesn't mean it's here uh, but you can tell me in the comments what you want in these blocks so let me try this again we have a church that will definitely build we also want to do another blacksmith then we might put a few gardens inside so that's option number three and then fourth one mm, maybe a warehouse because right now if we go over here this is a uh, this is not very nice at all, but I just needed to put a bit of a roof over them so they're not going to decay and dis disappear from, from our kingdom. Yeah, so there's a couple of things, well, four right now, but if there's any uh, different kind of cool ideas that you might have, then let us know and we could uh, definitely figure a way out how to build those things. So how is everyone doing? It's pretty messy here, but it's about to get even more messier. Oh, another thing I've just remembered. I Let's see if we can spot it anywhere right now. No, we can't. Okay, uh, never mind. So what happens sometimes is if you don't cover the ground with a bit of flooring, then the trees might start growing in these uh, spots over there as long as it's uh, soil or, 
or something, yeah, some sort of ground where the trees and plants can grow on. So what we'll do is we'll put some flooring so we don't have some weird trees growing through our stone defensive walls around around here. And we'll probably do it all the way around, but it's a little difficult to see what's happening in indoors right now or closer to the walls because there's so much construction that's everywhere. What's going on here? Let's take a uh, lone traveler. Okay. And Sinric, let's see what you're going to bring to us. I think we've been getting quite a few of those traders that come by and I can't blame them. Our kingdom is pretty awesome. Right. Uh, next thing, region. It, I can't believe it's already episode 10 and we still have not unlocked the region. So do we have that? Am I blind or we have not unlocked it? No, we've definitely unlocked it. So I guess I'm blind. Uh, should be somewhere here or not. Is it under furniture then? Yes, it is. Cartography, a table. And what's the distance? There's three there. So let's do three here. And mm, now let's leave two. Let's put it somewhere here because I'm not really sure how much further we are going to extend this cave base. I mean, right now we've pretty much already got the rooms we need and we could still do another what is it two bedrooms in here yep we can mine out another one and actually you know I lied two there three here so that's five in total yeah so let's have this built as soon as you wake up and uh, when it comes to buildings indoors yeah besides bedrooms I'm not really sure if we really want and need anything else I mean some sort of armory to keep our most precious weapons um, maybe another another thing uh, where we have our treasury for example so I believe we do have a bit of gold maybe not in our stockpile just yet but maybe uh, yeah maybe a secure vault where all of our most expensive or essentially the gold is yeah all right so we've got the cartography table now and we have unlocked the region map so let's take a quick look at this as well that's where our kingdom is with the nice dragon looking cool symbol and wow there's quite a few places around here everyone seems to not really like us it's all minuses guess it makes sense oh we have one neutral 12 percent alignment i guess it makes sense because we've been taking most likely their castaways or runners and we have not returned them so these are minus six only they seem to favor us the most, the upper, the band of the she-wolf. Okay, so yeah, I think once we get their alignment a little bit higher, we will be eventually able to trade our weapons away as well. There's just so much stuff in here and unless you have a... Unless they favor you, they're not gonna buy your weapons, which is kind of sad, but oh well. So be it, how are we doing here? Okay, so the tower in this side... Is almost done as well which is beautiful now where is the middle that's the tricky part i believe it's here yep it is let's put another no we didn't want to put the wall in there i was hoping to put one of those fires let's try again just over there things are definitely looking good we'll do a few more decorations around the place as well and there's definitely lots to tidy tidy up for example, removing the old wall in here, doing the floors or the walkways outside. Downstairs, there's a little bit as well. And on the upper levels, the same. Just uh, reposition those things. But I would very much love to hear what do you think we should do if I'll go up here again? What should we do in those different blocks in here? So this is block one, block two, block three in here, and then block four. So let me know down in the comments below and then we'll start working towards some of your suggestions and ideas as well. So yeah, so that was one of the things and the second one that I did ask before was about this. What do you think about this roofing bit? Do you think it suits the, the style that we're going for? And then uh, let us know what we should do. But okay, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for joining. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.